Hello, fellow alchemists. Welcome back. I know it's been a while since we've done a video. Uh, we've been crazy busy over here with CNY and a couple of projects. And I apologize about us being so late on a new video. But now I brought you a new video. Hopefully just in time for the weekend, you guys can learn something new. So as you've been seeing uh, over time, I've just been checking out what's going on with HexPM, anything interesting new coming out. And I saw a really interesting package that I think could be useful for many people. So I want to do a quick video about that one. So if we go over here. Uh, you just add in this package, so it's called attribute reader, and I just set it to, to over here because the latest version is 0.2. And for those of you who are coming from the Ruby world, um, you may actually kind of recognize this attribute reader, maybe seen attribute writer, or attribute accessor, I think it's called. And so um, what's really, really cool is that you can define constants. Now, the only way I'm aware of where you can define constants within Elixir is using module attributes. So if we go over here, I made this app.constants module, and I'm using this attribute reader over here, and I just define these uh, module attributes over here, one just being a string, the other one just being, of course, an atom. And uh, from here, this attribute reader will actually define functions, so you can actually get these module attributes from outside of the module. So I'm just going to quickly load up the project. So if I go ahead and say app.constants, and you'll see over here, when I tab, we automatically have these kind of accessors. So just read those values, right? So if I say bar, of course, the value of bar, which is foo atom will come up. If I say foo, sorry, I say foo, then of course, bar will come out. So this may or may not be something uh, interesting. Of course, you can define these functions yourself. You may not actually need this module, but I just think that this just makes things a little bit kind of easier. It kind of brings back that kind of Ruby uh, syntax kind of stuff that maybe you've missed before. And I think this is also overall a pretty cool package. Uh, but again, you could just define these functions yourself and not have to include this yourself. But I think that this could be something quite useful for people if you have a lot of contents in one place, just use this attribute reader and you'll automatically have these accessories kind of ready for you to go and you can use your contents throughout your application. So this is Alan from Plangora. Please subscribe if you haven't. Otherwise, I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.